So this is the toe box right here we're stitching together. I say this is the easiest one to stitch because you really can't go wrong. And it pretty much is self-explanatory what goes where. So that's what I think the easiest part is to stitch. And yeah, I just stitch it together and I pretty much start here, so. So remember, there's a lot of different ways you can go about making an Air Force One. So remember, I don't use any shoe last or any patterns like this, or no, neither do I build through scratch. I just take the shoe apart and put it back together like Nike made it or something like that. But yeah, this is pretty much the easiest way I make my Air Force One. So if you're interested, I'll be putting on a tutorial very soon. You can purchase them from my website. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. So everyone's been asking me like what kind of sewing machine I use. I use a Singer Heavy Duty. I think it's about $250 from your local hardware store, Canadian Tire, or Home Depot. It's a basic sewing machine, flatbed gets the job done. I mean, I'd say use a flatbed sewing machine to get started so you really understand the process of sewing. And you can move through an Air Force One. The Jordan 1 layers might be a bit too thick, but I say start small, just 250 because the post cylinder bed machine is about 3,500 to four ground. I mean, you can probably get one on the cheap ramp for 2,500, but you don't want to get a $2,500 machine. You don't know how to use it. So I say get comfortable with the cylinder bed machine first and then see how it goes. I mean, eventually I'm going to have to get a post cylinder bed. So I'm looking towards one. So let me know what you guys think about this sewing machine. Yeah, the Air Force One isn't that hard to make. I'd say it's probably the easiest shoe to, to make to start off with. I mean, depending on how you look at it, less layers in my opinion. But yeah, this I'm just sewing on the ticks right now. Ticks are a little tricky to sew on. You have to really finesse your way into it. But just follow the line and follow the curve and try to get a, as close to the, the edge as possible. So it looks like Nike made it. Right now we're just doing like a tongue. The tongue is definitely one of the most trickiest parts to do, I would say, out of, out of the whole shoe, apart from putting on the sock liner. So this is the way I do the tongue. Pretty simple to the point so far, nothing too serious, but the tongue can get tricky because if the tongue's off, I mean, the whole shoe would look weird. And people don't understand there's two parts to the tongue as well. But I'll be putting out a tutorial video you can purchase on my website for sale. It shows you everything in depth too. So stay tuned, check it out. <laughs> 